Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel for another booth tour. We're back again at ACGHK. This is Joel from 30. Thank you so much, Joel, for allowing us to come into the booth. No problem. Hi, Justin. Good to see you. Yes, this is my first time meeting Joel, but he's going to walk us through everything on display, some stuff that's been released, some exclusives, and some new stuff as well. Shall we go? Yeah, let's do it. Go ahead. So this is the corridor, the entranceway. We're going to try and walk back. Oh, interesting, right? Into anything. All We've right. Got some displays here, Joel, of the Evangelion stuff. Yeah. So can you tell us what's new for ACGHK? Uh, the Evangelion 13 yeah. uh, is currently on pre-order. Uh, we have a human size. Yes, outside. A, a sculpture outside. If you take pictures with the sculpture and post it on social media, we give you a free postcard, awesome. which looks like this. Joel, I'm a massive Power Rangers fan. We spoke about this yesterday, but new for this year at the convention, we have Turbo Red. Right. So you put your hands on the prototype yesterday. Yeah. Thank you for letting me do that. How do you feel? I really like the Turbo Rangers. Not so much the show, but when I was young, I saw the movie in a cinema, and it was like the best thing ever. After the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, then we had Turbo. So I'm really excited to build out the team. Do we have like a rough idea when we're going to start seeing more of the Turbo Rangers, or is it going to be like Zio, where we see Red first, and then the rest of the team next time? Mm. We got to wait and see. Got to wait and see. Collect them all. Of course. Always. All right. Here we have the uh, MDLX uh, series, uh, Transformers 1 for the movie coming this fall. The four main characters right here. Mm -hmm. Did you check them out yesterday? Yes, it looks like we can convert Orion Pax to Optimus. We've got the replacement chest, the biggest smokestacks, and the matrix of leadership. So it's like a conversion situation going on. Exactly. I'm really excited to see the movie. I know that some fans in Australia got to see it uh, on the 25th. And from what I've heard, the reviews have been quite positive. Some people said that it's the best Transformers movie yet, so I'm really excited to see it. Let's wait and see. MDLX, small scale, yes. still die cast, yes. beautiful figures, yes. but my bread and butter <laughs> is DLX scale. Right. We looked at the uh, 3D render last year when right. we did the office tour. Right. Now we have the fully painted version of DLX Mirage here at the convention and the mini Noah. I was not expecting to see that mini little Noah. That's pretty awesome, right? I love to see it because usually get the bots, but because they're in their own scale, we don't have any human characters to show the scale of them, imply how big they actually are. But now we've got Mini Noah, we can put him next to Optimus and you can see how much bigger Optimus is next to a human. I think that's absolutely awesome. This one that we also feature the uh, magnetically operate uh, LED lighting system. Ooh, I love that. That's pretty fun. Because usually you have the button integrated into the Yeah, you gotta somewhere. take off some parts and then yes. you flick on the little, little, little switch. No need to do that this time. With magnets. Yep. Very convenient. I know with RC, she didn't have a button on the head and you had to take off the thing. So yes. magnets, definitely the way to go. Yep. Lockdown. Mm. This Trans one has been, yep, all guys been waiting for. Oh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. You saw the, 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 the gray uh, prototype version yesterday? Uh, we saw it yesterday. And when we went to the office, I'm pretty sure we saw an, a very, very early version of lockdown. Yep. But we weren't allowed to film it. Yep. Now he's here at the convention. He's taller than I expected, but that's accurate scale-wise, and he's going to look great next to the night version of Optimus Prime. Yeah, look at the details, huh? It's insane, the tiny little car bits and pieces. This was one of my favorite designs from the later films. They started to get less visible car party. They yep, look more yep, humanoid. Yep. This is a good mix of both. True. Stay of the art. Yes. Chainsaw Man. The anime section. Yep. I just reviewed Markima. Yep. I'm hoping Arky's not too far away. Not too and far away. Maybe more Chainsaw Man in the future, perhaps? We'll see. We will see. Okay. I'd love to see effect parts because I'm looking at Demon Slayer. Yep. And I'm seeing some sick effect parts for Tanjiro. It is really cool. And uh, what do you have here is uh, the Kaiju Do uh, Godzilla 1974 version. I would love to see more Godzilla figures from 3.0. I know Figua do some great, really small scale stuff, but some slightly larger ones. Yep. I think that would be uh, right up 3-0's alley. What we have over here is our uh, ACG HK2024 exclusive. Starting over here, we have the black gold version of the Voltron. Robotech VF1J uh, Weather Edition, limited to 80 pieces for this occasion. And the Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, which are the... Literally with the shattered window. Yep, yep, yep. Even Galleon Model 2 metallic color and Nemesis Prime. My favorite of the bunch, that 
teal blue against the black just pops. And he's compatible with Jetfire sold separately. Yep. But there's stock here at the event. So if you're picking up Nemesis Prime, you can connect all the Jetfire bits and perhaps make this your centerpiece. Yep. Fully compatible. The hands-on area uh, last year, Joel. Right. One of my favorite parts of your booth because a lot of companies have their stuff on display, but they very rarely allow people to come and mess around with them and pose. Right. Them. So we had DLX figures last year, MDLX, but this year, yeah. we've got something that's technically not even out yet at the time of filming this tour. It's DLX Optimus Primal. Right. This is the first time I'd ever handled him, and he's an absolute beast. This Massive beast. So heavy. Yep. I have to test the, uh, the ab crunch, of course. And in typical <laughs> 3 zero fashion, it's a crazy range of motion for that ab crunch, but I cannot wait to get this guy. If you're at ACGHK, uh, you can literally come and yeah, mess around. Yeah, come and mess around with him. Hold some uh, cool poses and uh, try the, all the articulation and uh, look up close and personal for uh, our 3 0 uh, state of the art uh, production. The details in I mean, I can't wait to review it, but there's <laughs> this very light silver scratching and pink. Right. There's dirt and grime everywhere. You've got like a rust effect on certain parts. I can already tell that this is the button for the light up effect, so it's really easy to access. Yep. I mean, this guy is massive. Taller than Optimus, I think, when he's standing straight up and down. Yep. Come to our booth and uh, give it a try. We're in the store area. This is right at the end of the booth. So once you've seen everything on display, all of the new stuff and some of the stuff that's already been released, if you decide you want to pick anything up, they've got a shitload of stuff here from MDLX scale, Marvel stuff to MDLX scale Transformers and the biggest stuff as well, including premium scale and some figures that are long since sold out that you can't really find anywhere. So if you're coming to the event and you're hoping to find a Rise of the Beast Bumblebee or a Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, chances are you will be able to get that stuff here in person. Thank you so much, Joel, for allowing us to walk through the booth. It's been a pleasure as always to see the new stuff, figures in stock, we went through the store, so right. folks know what they'll be able to pick up at the convention. Yep. We've got life-size outside, so much to look at. So if you're coming to ACGHK, come and see Joel at the 3-0 booth, and he'll walk you through. So thank you, sir, for allowing us to come in early and take a look at everything on display. Thank you for coming, Justin. See you next year. Yes, see you next year. And see y'all in the next video. If you want to see something uh, in more detail, comment down in the comment section, and I'll try and get back into the booth. We'll get some more footage. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.